Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to use sound to control your particle simulations. In this very simple scene, I'm emitting just a string of particles from a very small emitter. And these particles have a certain speed. They're all moving at the same speed and everything else is default. What we're going to do is go to the simulate go to the modifiers and get a data mapper. And I'm just going to move it down here. And I'm going to use the field control for this particular data mapper. And I'm going to add a sound field to it. Now the sound field has certain controls and uh, we first of all need to load a sound. So let me go and do that. Click on the little triangle and go and load sound. I located the sound and loaded this WAV file. Now make sure to do a couple of things. Number one, change the scale not to logarithmic but to linear. Uh, but before that, just make sure that your probe, this uh, square over here, is placed somewhere where you want to pick up your sound waves. Now if I rewind and press play, I get uh, this uh, feedback and if you don't want to listen to the music, what you can do is go to your timeline, select the sound field, and just turn off the use sound. Now let's uh, minimize this and go back to the sound field. So what we're seeing here is that the particles are doing something based on the sound, but this blue line indicates that we're using the peak of all these samples. Go right down here and change this peak to step. And this is going to assign a different value to a different particle. So you can see that they're moving quite independently. Now by default, the data mapper is uh, moving things on the X axis. I'm gonna change this and make it Y. So now these values are controlling the Y value from zero to hundred centimeters. So we get this effect. Play around with the value to make it look the way you want it to. Now I'm gonna call this PY for position Y. And I can move this outside. You don't need to have it as a child. And I'm going to create another data mapper. Let's make a copy of this. And uh, let's call this R for radius. So select it. And instead of controlling the property out position Y, I'm going to control the radius. And I'm going to say from 2 to 10 centimeters radius. I'm going to use the same sound field. Rewind, press play. And now you can see that the particles are being controlled by this sound field and of course you can go to the particle group use a tracer to make it fancy make sure you connect all objects and it will create a line fantastic and uh, you can do all sorts of things with that line but now you're controlling your particles using a sound one more thing you could do in the sound field is uh, just go down here where it says uh, decay and just increase that so they move a bit smoother, they retain the position for a bit longer, and then just adjust the values you want to make things look the way you want them to. And that's how you use a sound to control your particles. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.